Hey, Roshan. Wow, what a difficult title. In some countries, there are fewer people who listen or play classical music these days. Okay. Should young people be encouraged to play or perform classical music? Interesting. Oh, sorry. Why is this? Okay, so we're going to divide this into two paragraphs. So I quite like that. At least we've got that uh, organization there for us. It is considered that the younger generation in the modern world has lost, in lost interest in classical music. Careful here. There are fewer young people in some countries. You need to modify this. It is often considered or sometimes suggested that or often thought that. Uh, it is considered that. It's very strong. Um, I'm just changing your verbs here and I also want to introduce these words like sometimes, often. Remember these, they are so useful. Sometimes, often, frequently, um, they do the same job as these modal verbs, could, should, might. Um, they just make your writing more academic and more distant. You need to step back. So it's sometimes suggested that the younger generation in the modern world has lost interest in classical music. Good. This is mainly because, you don't need a capital there by the way. This is mainly because one of the sounds, one of the sounds of older instruments, which is less harmonious. Oh, sorry, because of the sound of older instruments, which is less harmonious, commas there, it's a relative clause, as compared to that of modern ones. Interesting. In my opinion, uh, motivating children to engage in traditional instruments might help them. So engage in learning. You can't engage in an instrument, but you can learning or appreciating. Traditional instruments might help them better understand the concepts of music production. Wow, nice writing. Very good, nice intro, well done on that one. Really good on that one, actually. Just these little words, you can see how I'm adding them in just to make the whole thing really work. Uh, the modern generation, we say isn't isn't is again is not is often so if you've used sometimes um is often and it's it's in some countries so you can't generalize so much as this the modern generation in many places is often not too fond or not so fond of this idea of just be careful of big statements. Yeah, some of these statements are too big. Like you're making a bold statement which you can't prove, so just go more gently in it. Uh, as it was developed using old instruments which sounded dull. In other words, tabla, sitter, and banjo were most utilized to compose a music album in the early days, whose melody, when compared to the modern drums, Come on, was less appealing. Okay, really, really good. Uh, not was less appealing, seems now to be. It was lovely then, but now it seems less appealing. So tense is there. For example, bongos. Uh, I don't think there's an S, I think it's just bongos. Uh, bongo drums, yeah. Were used to produce beats and soundtracks recorded by uh, Lata who was a famous singer in the 19th century, we go 19th with a th, which produces a disturbing background noise. Most modern drums produce clear and melodious beats that are more alluring to the human mind. This is incredible. Wow, this is really interesting. I haven't thought about this question very much, um, but this is really interesting and this is very good writing. Thus, increased harmony in sounds could be one of the main reasons why children these days prefer to listen to good latest you could put in here fashionable because it is really a lot of it is about the image isn't it of the pop singers music rather than the traditional one also about their message i know you haven't got room to say that but the kind of message of these songs now especially the rap music is very important isn't it rather than a traditional uh, rather than traditional uh, Traditional pieces, I think you'd have to say, or traditional tunes, or traditional works. We talk about a work of music, okay? But I really like that paragraph. I think you've really thought about it. Um, I'm very impressed. <coughs> However, teenagers, so should they be? However, it could be argued 
than that. This is really important. You've, you've, you've kind of got it here, um, but I think we need to get this more, um, more subtle. So really, if you're going to remember one thing, remember this. A teenager should, should be encouraged um, to play or listen to old music as it provides them with an in-depth understanding of notes used to create yeah used for its creation you could have otherwise this is because in the past composers used to create um significantly complex pieces um pieces of melodies um you could have a piece of music you can't have a piece of melody uh complex melodies and harmonies you could have which good cop uh yeah which comma there because for your relative clause when imitated by a younger generation allows them or allowed them to grasp the concepts of symphony formation for instance had not learned the concept of circular fifth he could not have been able to yes that third conditional absolutely bang on perfect yes therefore indulging in the rhythm indulging and comprehending but I would put comprehending first because obviously the understanding comes before the indulging. Comprehending and indulging in the rhythm um, might teach children accurate methods of recording notes. Absolutely. Wow. Really nice. <clears throat> in conclusion, even though older music albums used instruments which, which have this because they're dull sound, that's three times we've had that. It's a non-defining relative clause. You're adding extra information, but it is not important for the sentence. It's important for the exam, but grammatically, it's not important. That's why it must go in commas. You had it up here, which is this harmonious. You had it there. So if I just um, put that in a different color for you, these little extras must be in commas. Uh, they could still, modern ones, no apostrophe. It doesn't belong. They could still act as impeccable source. Wow. <clears throat> I really, really like that. What a good essay. Super strong. You've answered the question very, very clearly. Okay. The coherence, the organization is excellent. You've given me some fantastic grammar. There's a few little errors in the grammar. So if you can try and understand those, I think you'll be absolutely fine. Vocab, extra good. I mean, it's a, you're showing a huge wide range of vocabulary. This is technical. Um, very, very good. Really well done. Uh, so you weren't sure about what to write here. Um, yeah, it, it's quite kind of straightforward, but the key is to make as many comparisons as you possibly can between the groups. Okay, so really the comparisons. So show processing of three items. Um, perform, yeah, uh, processing. Yeah, it's recycling processing. Um, reprocessing, sorry. Overall, paper was the most recycled item throughout the world. Glass was the least, on the contrary. Um, okay, on the contrary. Um, okay. I'm going to see if we just need to add more detail there. Globally, paper held the largest percentage of recycling by a significant proportion. Uh, would it hold a percentage? Mm, I go represented the largest proportion of proportion of material which was allocated for recycling okay I've just put in quite a lot more words but hopefully quite nice quality of language as well in there okay the largest proportion of material which is allocated for recycling by a significant margin at 54%, which is almost five times that of glass. So you've got the basics in there, but what I've added in is something just to show a bit more language in there. Additionally, 34% um, of, of their plastic, so this is of plastic, so how? Of, you'd have to say global plastic waste was repro, was re yeah, me, second, okay, good. Sorry, I lost my place there. 
uh, second largest reused product world up. Okay, Madrid, plastics are recycled most, the most good, followed by glass, then paper uh, in Barcelona. So link this together with while in Barcelona. Uh, the reuse of glass was the highest, almost double good, nice one. Uh, in Madrid, although good, the re yeah, that's fantastic. You're absolutely there. You just needed another sort of blah, blah, blah sentence or just adding in some more words. But <coughs> I mean, you've, <coughs> excuse me, you got that right. Um, did you make a connection between the how in worldwide it was very small compared to Barcelona, which was the highest? Yeah, okay, you could hear with uh, five times more the amount uh, recycled or reused than was the case globally. Okay, so hopefully that gives you an idea on how to expand, but I've been so impressed working with you. You've done brilliantly. Really, really good luck for the exam. Just show your best. Okay, well done.